Far Cry 6 is in an interesting position at the start of 2022. The Vaz DLC is for example already out, just like all the free Spec Ops maps. So if you would actually pick up the game right now, there is totally more content to dig into. And we also know about other things that are still coming this year, like the Pagan DLC, which will drop on January 11th. Ubisoft just announced we recently went over the trophies, which already revealed that it will be a very similar DLC compared to Vaz. So once again a roguelike with a score so you can try and get a better score if you want Unlock weapons via the armory system and we play of course as Pagan and learn more about him by doing the different objectives Side chance that the Joseph season pass DLC that is planned for March will also be similar to this for the Voss DLC we got a very cool unique pistol to use in Yara and some gear items as well so I expect the same type of rewards for Danny when the other DLCs release. I mean, we could already dress up as Pagan in Far Cry 5, so why not in Far Cry 6? We only got the artwork so far of the free Rambo mission, which will drop in February. Here we join a Rambo superfan and fight of an army of soldiers. From the looks of it, we gotta blow up many helicopters and kill another random general. We already saw the cool bike with the minigun in the Danny Trejo mission art, which was of course a reward from that mission. I don't see anything new in the Rambo art, so not sure what the reward will be, but I hope it's another unique item. And fingers crossed that it's longer than 15 minutes. We also got, of course, a new special operation map with Danny Trejo, so that totally extended that short mission. But yeah, that will not be the case for the Rambo content, so I just hope that the story quest in and of itself is going to be longer. The Stranger Things content at least has some new areas to explore from the looks of it. An upside down version of Yara would be cool if it's actually like a sizable new region, although I'm not expecting it. Chorizo is missing during this quest and we have to find him. And that is it in terms of announced content, looking at the roadmap. But Far Cry 5 also had some surprises. No, I don't think that the shovel launcher will make its way to Far Cry 6, although I would love that. No, but Ubisoft has been adding quite a lot of new stuff to Far Cry 6 that is not on the roadmap. So I want to go over everything we know and what we can likely expect. Of course, if you enjoy the Far Cry content here on the channel, then leaving a like on the video would really help me out and subscribe as I will keep you up to date here when we learn more about the future of the series. Now one thing we've been seeing a lot since launch is that Ubisoft has been adding brand new weapons that were not in the game around release. We just got the Splinter Cell bundle, yes with the goggles, looks pretty nice although I do like the outfit we could find in New Dawn a bit more. Now but this pack comes with the Diplomat pistol which we haven't seen before, this is the 5.7 pistol with very similar stats compared to the P226, only a lower fire rate in exchange for a 20 bullet magazine. Like the biggest magazine in a pistol by a mile and I really like the quick reload as well. So that's a brand new pistol that we haven't seen before, just like in the new Wolves bundle, of course inspired by the enemy faction in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Say what you want about that game, but the design of these enemies is totally awesome. Here we find the big dog pistol, which seems similar to the Mark VI, but it's actually brand new, has double the fire rate namely of that Mark VI. I do prefer the Diplomat gun, because firing with this big dog from a longer range can be tricky, but when you get it under control it can totally get the job done. No silencer on the weapon, and where it is that they dropped it in the pistol section, while it has the overclocked mod and also slots for three MK2 mods. But yeah, that's another weapon we did not have in Far Cry 6 at launch. And fun fact, they changed the name of the Miami Strip Grip to the White Lightning. This A99 is also completely new and right now only available in the Far Cry store, but maybe it's coming as an insurgency reward at some point. Because the best sniper, the EVA, was also a reward first from these weekly objectives, and now you can find it as a regular overclocked sniper called the Alpha Wolf 
in the Wolves bundle. My point is that this really reminds me of what happened with Far Cry 5. Here we also got a lot of new weapons through live events weeks and months after launch and only a small portion of the overall players sticked around for these pretty lackluster events so only just a handful of people got to play with these new weapons. Like it did not make sense for Ubisoft to only make these weapons for the Far Cry 5 post launch and well turned out that they had a second bigger purpose because they were all part of the launch weapons for Far Cry New Dawn. So they were then actually new for a lot of people. And I think that history is going to repeat itself, looking at the amount of new weapons we're now seeing during a Far Cry 6 post launch that just hasn't been really successful so far. So Ubisoft is likely spending those resources knowing that these will be weapons that are part of Far Cry 6.5. Like I think that the biggest new content for Far Cry 6 in 2022 is actually a new smaller $40 game. Like maybe it launches in February like Far Cry Primal and New Dawn did, which were of course the .5 games for Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 5 respectively. Far Cry 5 got the final big update on September 28th and a little over two months later on December 5th we got this teaser for the Game Awards where they announced Far Cry New Dawn. And a little over two months at the end of the Far Cry 6 roadmap, so the end of March, would mean June, which around E3, so that would be the perfect time to maybe announce this game. And I could totally be wrong, and I would personally love it if they just put way more support behind Far Cry 6. And there is still hope, because when Ubisoft revealed the Far Cry 6 post-launch roadmap, which I've already shown before, they did note that there will be more to come, as the Far Cry 6 development team is committed to building and improving on the core experience with new, yet-to-be-revealed content. Far Cry 5 got New Game Plus five months after launch, so that would be February for Far Cry 6, but I'm not sure if it will happen, because because the insurgencies which unlock after finishing the main story of Far Cry 6 are really a core part of the post launch. So if they launch New Game Plus it would mean that a lot of people could not do that content anymore until they replay the full game. But yeah there has to be more because Far Cry 5 also had the arcade which Ubisoft supported with quite a lot of free content. I thought no arcade for Far Cry 6 meant more content for the main open world but so far that has not been the case. Maybe they plan to add to the current end game because things they promised before launch are still not in the game. I asked Ben Hall the world director about the spec up skis before launch because we already found them during a preview session. After which he said that there's going to be special little things inside the special operations that will allow you to find an extra piece of gear new things that you can bring back with you to Yara. And I don't think Ben Hall was lying on purpose here, something likely changed or maybe the spec up ski system will still be properly implemented. Because right now all I got were 3 chibis in total and all the other times I used these keys I got some extra moneda. No gear or anything useful whatsoever. So the more you play, the more you explore, there's going to be more things that you can discover in the special operations that you can then bring back with you to the mainland Yara as you continue to try and take down Anton. This has not been the case. Right now the insurgencies for these keys and some other rewards have been less valuable as there are also less items to spend your moneda on. First, every week you would be able to buy a new free gear set with sometimes even new perks. But now every week we're seeing outfit pieces that have already appeared in the shop before. So we went from 9 to only like 4 things to buy each week. I still think it's a generous system overall. Like at the time of this recording, this week you can get the very awesome looking Cartomancer shotgun. Sure, it's worse in terms of damage than the regular variant of the KSG. Sure, you can make it similar with the Overclock mod, but I just love how it looks. Like, there's no other gun like it in Far Cry 6. I personally don't mind them going crazy with some Destiny type guns. And we of course had the Factor and the Double O Pistol in the shop before. Last week at the time of this recording the Serenity PO8 gun was for sale. 
So, yeah, again, still a great system, but I also can't help but think that they are so generous because the life cycle of Far Cry 6 is way shorter than, let's say, Valhalla. So, that's why they make Moneda easier to come by and give away more items. I really hope I'm wrong and that they surprise us this year by announcing some big free stuff that is not on the roadmap, but I'm personally not counting on it and I think they will just save it for Far Cry Legends or something they're going to announce Maybe like set during the time periods of the legends from the main story. Or maybe Foss plays a role in this smaller game. I got some theories about that which I want to share very very soon. So subscribe for everything Far Cry 6 and way more videos if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And watch our big video on all the Danny Trejo content that they recently launched by clicking on the screen. For now I will speak to you in the next one. Goodbye.